Hey guys, Chef Andrea here, and today we're talking olive oil on Q&A with Chef A. Okay, I've done a couple of podcasts already for you guys. I did Olive Oil, The Scandal. In that one, we talk about the amazing book, um, Extra Virginity, Settle Down. It's about olive oil. So check that one out if you want to uh, learn a lot more about the olive oil industry. Um, I also did one um, that was just focused on buying olive oil. How do I know? What do I buy? Uh, and I showed you four possibilities that you can find at most local grocery stores and one that you can find online. Okay, today what I want to talk about are um, specialty oils. And specifically what I'm going to be talking about right now is a company called Olive Oil Hunter. And I want to clarify right from the get-go, um, the owner of this company has no idea that I'm doing this. Um, I am not sponsored by him or endorsed by him in any way, shape, or form. T.J. Robinson of the Olive Oil Company is who I'm going to be talking about for where I order my specialty oils, but I'll tell you about some resources. There's plenty of places you can go. I just figured you'd like to see what I use myself. The specialty olive oils that I get in, what I'm talking about with specialty oils are, these are those bottles that are going to range probably more than $10 a small bottle. Um, they are going to be from very, should be, from very small, independent um, growers. They will be single country of origin, single region of origin. So grown, pressed, bottled, and shipped from one small area. Um, these are going to be a lot of family farms. These are going to be, um, maybe some might be very small co cooperatives from a specific region, but these are those super high-end oils that I think are the ones that are, that are much, I, I can't find them in my local grocery stores. I will say that. I can find them in some gourmet stores that people stock. Um, better products in, but basically I think that you're going to ultimately probably do some online looking. Now, listen, y'all know this because I've told you this in this podcast before. Do you know what I'm looking at right now? I'm looking at my pickup truck and it's sitting in front of railroad tracks. Are you getting a glimpse of where I live? Okay. So you, however, <laughs> might live in Chicago or Washington or Atlanta and have access to brilliant things. Um, where I live is beautiful and I love it here. We have an amazing community of people. Um, we do not have a huge gourmet scene. I'm just gonna leave that there. Okay, so I order my mail order and I order from TJ at the Olive Oil Hunter. Um, and so TJ Robinson, if you Google that, or the Olive Oil Hunter, if you Google that, I think you'll find him pretty easily. And what um, he produces for you is he sources from super, super small, um, olive groves around the world globally. And so when you sign up with him, what you'll end up getting is, now, again, I'm not a representative of this company, so there may be other packages. I'll tell you what I get. I get four boxes a year, so they're quarterly. Each box has three bottles of olive oil, so that's 12 bottles of olive oil a year. Um, there's two sizes that you can choose from, and I'll show you the size that I get because it's pretty big. But remember what I do for a living. I would say 60% of the oils that I bring in end up here at A Chef's Cooking Studio, and we utilize them here in classes. But about 40% of them just stay at my house. I eat them every single day of my life. I'll repeat that. I eat olive oil every day of my life. See the glow? That's olive oil. Okay. Well, I mean, it might be Bobby Brown, but it's also olive oil. So what I get is this beautiful box. Boop! This shows up at my house. And I'm going to unpack this for you. I open it up, and there is styrofoam or bubble wrap styrofoam, and then a little bit of information. So there's that. Um, there's this. This is important. I'm going to show you this. And then there's three bottles of olive oil, and I've unwrapped one of them already. And these all come bubble wrapped as well. So three bottles of oil. Each bottle is different. So there's three different bottles of oil, but all from the same country of origin. So they might all be um, Chilean, or they might all be Australian, or they might all be Italian. Okay? So that's what's in the fancy box. Now let's take one of these bottles out and take a look at it. So this month's harvest is Italian. And so it says Italian harvest season 2021. 
And it says, product of Italy, superior category olive oil obtained directly from olives and solely by mechanical means, exclusively available through in America through the Fresh Pressed Olive Oil Club. He also um, is referred to as the olive oil hunter. I've found him under both easily. So there's that. And that's his contact phone number if you want to pause that for a second and get that number there. So, in fact, I'm going to hold it up there because if you hit pause on YouTube, it's going to throw all the, my other videos down there. So I'll hold it up here. Okay. So 100% extra virgin olive oil. So all three oils this month will be from Italy. Um, once When he sends you a box, they're all one country of origin for that month. And then I showed you this kind of cool package here. <coughs> Excuse me. It is super allergy season here. I mean, it's beautiful out, out, but the world is in bloom, and so therefore am I. So what he's going to tell me is impressions and food pairings. This comes in this envelope, so this is important. And so he's got three different varietals, a mild, a medium, and a bold. This one is labeled as the bold. Um, let's read his description. The DiMartino. A valuable tip from a longtime colleague led us to this intriguing oil. Pressed from 100% Cortina olives, it is intensely green, bold, but not overwhelming. On the nose, it presents arugula, basil, kale, artichoke, fennel, rosemary, and golden apple, with base notes of hazelnut and black pepper. On the palate, it's like pesto in a bottle. Um, you might de detect chicory, artichoke, watercress, wheatgrass, spinach, lime zest, Tuscan kale, and fresh green almond with the spiciness of black pepper and the astringency of green tea. It crescendos to a sensational, nuanced finish. Though muscular, this oil is remarkably food friendly. We suggest pairing it with steak or grilled meats, game meats or birds, hearty soups, stews, and braises, tuna, swordfish, and oilier fish like mackerel, aged cheeses. It could even stand up to blue cheeses like gorgonzola. Grilled radicchio or eggplant, caponata or ratatouille, grains and beans, cruciferous vegetables, dark chocolate, including baked goods like cakes or brownies and chocolate mousse. What? That's the description of this olive oil, y'all. How cool is that? So what's here's what's cooler. Also in that envelope is this newsletter. And now what's going to happen is Dear Fresh Pressed Olive Oil Club Member, uh, and he's out of Asheville, by the way. So, hey, Asheville peeps. Um, when my phone rang recently at my Asheville, North Carolina home, it was my friend and colleague, world-renowned olive oil expert, I'm not going to pronounce his name, Duccio Della Roca. He was calling to report that moments before, he and an olive producer um, from the Abruzio region of Italy had concluded a delightful meal at a local restaurant. You get the idea. So he does this beautiful letter to you. Then he starts talking about the um, olive growers that are featured in this month's box. He'll show you photographs of them um, at their property, um, olive tastings, or excuse me, oil tastings that they're doing at their press. And then here's the super exciting part too. Da, 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 da. Also included, and everybody who gets this membership is excited about this, the recipes. Y'all, there is a cookbook in every one of these. Um, this particular one has one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve recipes. There's twelve recipes in this. And they're all devoted to those three bottles. Now, let's assume that you've been a member for a while or you've just been traveling or you're just a savvy shopper or you just live where there's a really great gourmet market and you've got some different olive oils from different regions. You can certainly match up region for region what's hanging out on your shelf with what came in this package and use some of these oils down the road with, or excuse me, these recipes with those oils down the road as well. Does that make sense? Do you see where I'm going there? Um, Brussels sprouts with pancetta, lemon and olive oil panna cotta. Holy macaroni. I need to make that. Uh, lentil soup. Can I tell y'all something crazy? You know how everybody's always talking about what's a weird thing about you? Uh, Christy Archer, who's a knitting designer, did a post on Instagram recently, and she said, let's list our weird thing. Here's one weird thing. I am a lentil addict. Do you know how much I love lentils? Like, love them. Lentils um, cooked and then chilled and then drizzled with really killer olive oil. Oh, 
just eat them by the spoon. What was I saying? Oh, anyway, olive oil hunter. So what's cool about these is he's done the work. He did the label reading. He did the resourcing. He found the people that um, are doing the beautiful, beautiful, beautiful batch. And you're getting oils in this club, by the way. Um, he sends us oils from New Zealand and Australia. Do you know what shipping is from those countries? For those of us, we just want to go online to a website and order a bottle of oil. It's not going to happen. Um, I have a good friend who married an Australian and she moved to Byron Bay. Hi, Judy. And, um, and Dave. And so when the first year that she went over there, she, well, okay, the first year they got married, what they figured out is that when she got her permanent visa, right, because she had married an Australian, she couldn't leave the country again. I think it's two years. Like it was something really long. Like she was totally flipped out. Um, and so we put together a care package of super American things like Reese's peanut butter cups and peppermint patties, chewing gum that she couldn't find in Australia. You know, think about that. Your favorite brand of chewing gum. Um, mine is icebreakers, grape. Hello. Um, so we put this huge pa care package together, right? And I take it over. My, I get my husband to take it over to the UPS store. He does all the shipping out of the studio for me. And so I had him take it over there and he calls me and he goes, um, this package to duty, yeah, they want $684 to ship it. <laughs> I said, okay, um, it's full of Bisquick and um, candy. So let's hold off for a minute, figure it out. We did ultimately get it out to them. We found better shipping rates. I don't know where, but anyway, um, I digress. Great olive oil. Okay, kids, um, if you don't go with the olive oil hunter, and remember, I am in no way sponsored or endorsed by them at all. I just have been a member of this olive oil club forever. It happened because I read the book Extra Virginity. And within that book, he talks about sourcing um, great olive oils for your home use. And he mentions these type of mail order companies. Um, and it's possible that he listed Fresh Press Olive Oil Club, the olive oil hunter, um, in that publication. There's some resources at the back of the book. I would tell you for sure, but I lent my copy of it out so I can't look it right now. That's probably where I heard about it. And I read that book when it came out. So look at the publication date on it. It's been a while. I always joke that that book, Reading Extra Virginity, was the most expensive book I ever read. Because the first thing that happened is I was about page 23 when I went into the kitchen and threw all my olive oil away. Um, I was terrified of what was in those big tens once I started reading this book. But then I became a member of this olive oil club, and not only have I gotten my shipments every quarter, year after year after year, I also buy this for gifts for family and for friends sometimes too, so um, to see what they think of it. So, um, But it's well worth it. I mentioned to you I eat olive oil every day. How does that happen? Well, first and foremost, um, I'm always looking for ways to incorporate very healthy fats into my diet every day. I feel like fat is something that is... Uh, devastatingly overlooked um, in our country, um, its value. And I feel like the information we received about fat in the 90s was, well, frankly, wrong um, and probably pretty um, mm, damaging, ultimately. So I work really hard to get good fats into my diet every day. Um, how do I do that? Today in our um, chocolate protein shake, I, add, uh, I put an avocado um, and with it, right? So there's a healthy fat. Um, but one thing that I'll do is just drizzle things that I'm eating with good quality olive oil. So if I just, um, you know, get some chicken off the grill or some seafood off the grill, I just drizzle it really lavishly with super green, super bright, first press, really flavorful olive oil. So the olive oils that he sends us, I cook with in that I follow his recipes with them because they're just fantastic. But I do a lot of just drizzling this over something at the end. Um, if I have pan fried up some chicken cutlets, um, I might have pan fried those up in some of the grocery store olive oils I mentioned in the other podcast, um, how to buy olive oil. So like the California olive oil. But when I get them carved up and served over a bed of lentils and arugula, that whole thing gets drizzled with this, right? Um, so I'm just, that's what I do. I'm just drizzling olive oil all over everything all the time. Um, that's my way. So, uh, and these are beautiful for that. One of my favorite things to do in a pinch, I haven't planned anything, is rinse off a can of white beans, any size, any size white beans, and then dump in a can of tuna, any kind. It can be in water, it can be in oil, it doesn't matter. Um, and then add some lemon zest and whatever you have around, like some chopped sun-dried tomatoes or olives or artichoke hearts, just anything you can find. Um, and toss that with some salt and some really good olive oil. Boy, is that a quick little lunch. 
um, or easy light dinner. In fact, I have one waiting for me in the kitchen right now. It's fantastic. Um, if you'd like recipes to go along with these videos, uh, then join us over on Gumroad. If you go to my website, achefs.com, and click the podcast microphone, that will take you to the Gumroad link. At Gumroad, I it's a paid subscription, but it's very inexpensive. And at Gumroad, you can either order everything I do for the next year or just this collection of podcasts, and you'll get the PDF with all the uh, downloadable recipes. There are a lot of great recipes every month as well. The olive oil one has quite a few. Not his, of course, these are mine. So um, specialty oils. I mentioned in the where to buy video that you can also look at specialty markets, and certainly there are those franchise places that have flavored oils. Check out the information in that video to help you make a decision about which way you wanna go with that. So, but if you are like me and live next to railroad tracks surrounded by pickup trucks, you know, mail order may just be where it needs to go. And by the way, I have nothing against railroad tracks or pickup trucks. Mind you, the pickup truck is mine. So, all right, kids, that's it for olive oil for now. Um, I hope you enjoy these pods. I definitely did. I get a lot of questions about olive oil. We work with it like crazy at A Chef's Cooking Studio. Um, and obviously, I'm eating it by the spoonful myself. So... <laughs> I really love it. Um, if you have any more questions for me, comments. If you have some sources for great olive oils that you're finding, please list them, list them in the comments below. Everybody would love to know that. Uh, we can all benefit from sharing that information. So um, I hope you guys are having a delicious day, a fantastic week, and I would love to cook with you sometime soon. Meanwhile, eat a lot of olive oil. It's, it's healthy. It's good for you. It's brain food. It's all good. Glowing skin. Okay. Have a great day. We'll talk next time.